welcome to another video so today we will be discussing about five theories of evolution so the first theory we are going to discuss is convergent and divergent evolution let us focus on convergent evolution first so convergent evolution is where two unrelated species have the same biological trait this is also termed as homoplasy so Convergent evolution gives rise to analogous structures. Let us take an example. The streamlined body of sharks and dolphins. Now shark is a fish whereas dolphin is a mammal. So both are unrelated species. However, the body shape is the same. So this is an analogous structure. Unrelated species having a same biological trait. You can take another example. These are all analogous structures. However, none of these are evolutionary related to each other. So, unrelated species having the same biological trait. In this case, a wing. Next is the divergent evolution. Now, opposite to convergent evolution, your related species, they start becoming more and more dissimilar. It gives rise to homologous structures. Example are the five digits of the limbs. Now here we have different limbs of all related species, all mammals. However, you can see that the structure is way different in each case. So this is an example of divergent evolution. Next up we have the parallel evolution. It is very similar to convergent evolution such that it occurs in different species. However, they have a relatively recent common ancestor. Now, the example is a stickleback. Now, you have two species. These are unrelated to each other. They have developed irrespective of each other. However, they have similar biological traits that is this spines okay so this is an example of parallel evolution where adaptations arise in different species that have a relatively common ancestor next one is coevolution now coevolution two or more species influence each other's evolution one evolves and it influences the other one it is observed in species that have close ecological interactions. Now, ecological interactions can be of three types. Namely, mutualistic species. Here is example of a termite which depends upon a bacteria to degrade its cellulose. So, when one evolves, it influences the evolution of the other. Next up, competitive species. So, competition causes both of these to get better and evolve. And finally, the parasite-host relationship. Both are in a race to evolve. So, one influences the other. This is an example of co-evolution where both species influence each other's evolution. Next up, we have the adaptive radiation. Now, what is adaptive radiation? It is when related species that have evolved from a single ancestral species like one taxon one particular species it diversifies to form many descendants which occupy various ecological niches the best example is darwin's finches now one finch diversified to give these variety that occupied various ecological issues like some fed on fishes, some would feed on the worms, some would feed on fruit. So they evolved into different species from one and they occupied different niches. This is an example of adaptive radiation. Now when does adaptive radiation occur? Under two conditions. One, colonization of a new area. So the Galapagos Island, it was a new area. So, when a new area is formed, the colonization causes this. During colonization, you have this adaptive radiation where a species occupies different niches. 
and second is when there is extinction of competitors so suppose the competition of that species is over it would undergo adaptive radiations now next is red queen hypothesis so what does the red queen hypothesis say that species evolve continuously in order to maintain a level of adaptation against its competition like if the species would stop adapting it would lose the race and eventually die out the best example is the parasite and host relationship the parasite continuously evolves so that it has mechanisms to stay in its host to derive it new its nutrition whereas the host would continuously evolve mechanisms to get rid of this parasite now another topic which is not actually a part of types of uh, mechanisms of evolutions but it's equally important is sexual selection now what is sexual selection some characters they do not increase the fitness of a particular organism so this does not be justified by natural selection so you can't apply natural selection to this kind of trait so then what is the use of this so this trait particularly provides some kind of reproductive advantage or i can frame it as it increases the mating success of an individual like example the peacock's tail it is a non essential sexual organ okay so this is present just for beautification without this also the peacock can sexually reproduce however this peacock tail being non essential yet it is being carried out from generation to generation it not only has no effect i can say it has a negative effect because it decreases the survival because it reduces the power of flight and it is also a very energy consuming process to make such a large and such a diverse tail with so many colors then why is it that this non essential the one that decreases fitness is being sent down from generations to generations that is because the survival that is reduced is more than compensated with the advantage now what is the advantage that this particular tail helps the male to find a female or it attracts the female to mate with it so this character is positively useful to the female such is called as the handicap theory now this works in two ways male competition and male choice so basically the mate is chosen by these two methods male competition male competition or the mate choice now the one who has a more brighter or more larger tail is preferred by the female and thus sexual selection is coming into play here now this kind of theory operates mostly with polygamous species that ha that means those which have a number of mates so they have these special characters that increase their chances of undergoing a reproductive event so this is sexual selection that's it for me for this video if you liked it if you learned something please share the video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye